Hey, 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 hey. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good morning. Great day. <laughs> it is your girl, Pamela Yvette. I am here with another video, y'all. Just coming in. And this is Kai Kai checking in. Just trying to say hello. Got his tongue hanging. I just came from outside walking, so... I don't know what he got going on. But anyway, I hope and pray that everybody's had a wonderful day so far. My day has been really good. I'm noticing, y'all, that the closer it gets to me, because um, my doctor's appointment is December the 7th. That's coming up really soon. But I'm noticing that I'm still having a lot of pain. I don't know if anybody who's broken their ankle before or had surgery um, it seems like when I feel like I'm out of the, I'm in the clear with the, um, Kai Kai, calm down. When I'm in the clear with the pain, somehow it just seems like, I don't know if it's because the weather's changed, but I can tell the difference with my pain level. I'm just kind of, it's annoying, dull pain. And, um, yeah, I'm trusting, hoping and praying that everything is all healed up and, um, I'll be ready to get that walking boot. That's my, that's my goal get to December the 7th and um, once they cut this um, cast off everything looks good I'll be walking out with my walking boots so that's that's what my my prayer is for so I just wanted to come on and check in with you guys uh, also I want to mention something and this is just my experience y'all I'm not sure anybody else's experience but my experience I noticed after surgery my skin has been real dry, y'all. It's like, no matter what I put on my skin, um, I'm just, you know, when I'm taking my bath and everything, I'm putting Vaseline, lotion. I'm just going overkill. I'm drinking a lot of water. And I noticed that no matter what, it's just like my skin is just so dry. Um, I also noticed that there's a lot of itching going on inside of my cast. And like the top part where it is a little bit looser at, I can stick my leg, not my leg, stick my fingers down there and just kind of scratch and massage my leg because that's what I do. And um, I notice now that if I do that, I'm pulling up a lot of like on my fingertips, I'm seeing freaking dry skin. And I'm like, oh my God. So I noticed that as well, just on this one leg. And I don't know if it's because there's nothing going on. You know, I haven't been um, scrubbing that leg or cleaning it. You know, because I can't get to it. I don't know. Because I, I do wipe around it as much as I can, but I don't go in there because I can't get the cast wet. That's the one thing you guys have to remember. Do not get your cast wet. Don't try to even chance it. Don't play games with it because you don't want to end up having to go back and um, go through getting um, reset with the cast. Because I just feel like if anything would have gone wrong, like if I would have gotten it wet and I need to go back to my orthopedic doctor, that would prolong or kind of hinder me from my healing process you know I'm on a time frame it probably wouldn't but that's just how I look at it and I feel about it like okay I need to stick to the schedule and stick to the plan but other than that make sure you keep it dry clean they, they did it by I'm quite sure if you guys are wearing a cast or anybody's wearing a cast I just jumped out but if anybody's wearing a cast make sure you are not um putting any lotion or powder or anything they always they told me not to stick anything down there. Y'all, it's so tempting to stick something down here because itching is an understatement. When I say this thing is itching, that's an understatement. <laughs> I don't even know. I need to come up with a new word that describes itching to the fifth power times 100 million. <laughs> that don't make sense. But look... This thing is itchy, and it seems like, you know, my son was like, Mom, that's a good thing. If you got the skin coming off, that means it's new skin growing and it's healing and all that, which is good. I, I don't doubt that I'm not healing. That's not my problem, y'all. That's not my concern. I think my concern is mainly um just trying to make sure that I stay the course and, and just, y'all, it's getting to the point. I'm tempted sometimes. I'm, I'm telling y'all, sometimes I feel like I just want to, put a little pressure on it my son loved telling me mama just test it out and just see it I'm like nope I don't want to do that because I don't want to offset or mess anything up I don't want them to know that I've been trying to be too fast and all that I just want to wait and be patient this y'all has taught me a lot of patience 
a lot of patience, a lot of patience. And you, you guys will see that um, when you are dealing with an injury and you've gone through surgery and you got to wait for your body to heal itself and it just like seems like it's just oh, taking forever. But hey, know that this too shall pass and it's all good. It's all good. Um, it's, it's taught me to be a lot stronger than what I thought I was. I'm a whole lot stronger now. All right, man, see you. My son's about to go to work. And, um, yeah, I'll just um, have a good day at work. Thank you, man. But um, I was just um, coming on just to let you guys know, hey, stay the course. Stay the course. Don't get discouraged. I meet myself and just getting off of work. And um, I don't really have anything planned for this afternoon. Just um, relaxing. Um I think, what else did I want to say? It was something else I wanted to say. I have to keep looking out at my leg and remember. I'm like, it was something else I wanted to say. I talked about the skin, drink the water. And I don't know if it's just my body um, that feels like I'm dehydrated or something. I don't know. But also, make sure you guys um, or are trying to keep, well, it's, it's both legs. It's my whole, it's mainly my legs. And I don't know if it's because of the medication that I took that dried me out. Because I was on different types of, um, you know, I had an antibiotic that I was on. I finished that one up because they didn't want me to have any infection after surgery. Um, I know they tried me out on a couple different pain pills till they got to the, the level of what they felt like I should, um, you know, to tolerate my pain. And then, yeah. But I think my body's undergone gone a lot. And that's probably why my skin is so dry. I don't, I don't get that. I thought about it yesterday, probably going to a dermatologist just to see if maybe there's something going on. But again, it's not my upper body. That's something that you will notice. It's not your upper body or anything. My, I mean, my skin feels dry to touch. I put lotion on my arms and stuff, but it's not noticeably real ashy as what, you know, it would be. But um, yeah, 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 yeah. But what else did I want to say, guys? It was some other stuff that I was thinking about while I was working that I wanted to share with you all. Um... Just know that I don't depend on my, my scooter alone. I still use my crutches. Either way, you're still going to have the sore arms because with the crutches, there's no way around it. I'm putting all my weight on there. I have to use my crutches when I go upstairs because remember, in a previous video, I did mention that I do use my crutches upstairs and then I use my scooter while I'm downstairs. That way... I can get around, get in the kitchen, go to the bathroom, do everything I need to do. Plus, I'm working from home and I work downstairs now. So, my crutches are my nighttime. When I go upstairs, I crawl upstairs, y'all, remember. And my method is, I don't crawl on both knees. I just kind of stay on my right knee because it seems to be better for me. Because when I try to switch over from one knee to the other, it kind of that's when it starts getting real crazy and then I start bumping up against the cast and it, it seems like it's moving it around I can't even describe it but that's another thing I want to mention it seems like the older your cast gets or you've had it on for a while for me it seems like my leg gets real skinny inside of this cast and it's like the cast sometimes is too big I can feel when I'm sleeping at night it feels like there's you know the cast is adjusting and I don't know if it's just my leg but this is my experience y'all so just if y'all have experienced that, just um, just make sure you let me know. It's not me just going crazy, cause I I I've been trying to observe things and take note, so I'll know, you know, if if there's anything that I need to mention to my doctor when I go back. I'm like, okay, I need to tell you that, hey, it seems like my cast, you know, may be too loose. And before you say anything, that may be the reason why I'm, you know, if you want to say I'm not healed up, that may be the reason why. I don't know. But anyway. Um, again, I just didn't want to pay that money for two scooters. That's the reason why I only did one because, like I said, I purchased my scooter from Amazon and it was, it was like 200 but it's the Knee Rover or whatever. And I read a lot of good reviews on it. Everybody had good, great things to say about it, so that's what made me purchase it. And at the time, I, I just didn't have the money to purchase two. Now, I wish I had to because my crutches sometimes, you got to think about it. Your crutches have this little bitty, like this rubber stopper at the bottom of it. I don't trust that this thing will hold me all the time. I had a near miss 
accident last week where I was coming back in the house and there's like two steps, two steps to get up to my porch. And um, it's like I lost control. Thank God I was right on my door and my door, when I did fly into the door, I flew into it, but it was not, um, it didn't open up automatically because my son was right there. So thank God, because if that door would have opened and I would have went ahead and fell straight down, face full, you know, face down. Thank God I didn't um, hurt myself because that's what I've been trying to avoid. I have had a few near misses with this. I did have one accident right after I had my surgery and um, I fell off of my knee scooter only because I was trying to avoid Kai and there's a rug that I have in my front room area here and um, it's just kind of like I was trying to miss him and get out of the way and still ended up turning too sharp. I was cutting. It was, I think it was my fault because again, it's my fault. I could have just, no, I ain't going to run Kai over, but still, I could have just um, waited for a little bit, but I was just trying to get around him because he has a habit of when he sees me on the scooter, he knows that I'm trying to get around him sometimes, and he could be a little little disobedient little child at times. You know, he teases me, so I think he gets in my way because he knows I want him to move, and he say, okay, she's not as quick as she used to be, so I'm, I'm going to take advantage of, of that. So I think that's what's going on with Kai, but that's fine. I failed that one time. Had a near miss last week, but that's fine. That is so fine. Um, I met someone at the store. This is also kind of a good thing for me too, y'all, because I've been meeting a few people on this journey. Like, when we went to Dave and & Buster's and I got a lot of crazy stares, everybody looking at me like, what is she doing on the scooter? But then in other places, like when I went to the Wawa up the street, um, there was a uh, the cashier that rung me up. With my sister and I, we um, she was had a walking boot on. I didn't even notice it, and she was like, "Yeah, I'm, um, you know." She was telling me about her journey, and I told her about mine. So she just kind of gave me some encouraging words because I'm like, "Listen, you actually have a walking boot. You're standing up. You're able to walk." Me, I'm still being assisted by this knee scooter. Which another thing I'm gonna tell y'all this: please, 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 please again. If you get the knee scooter. I would say this, if you're not going to use it as often, then disregard what I'm about to say. But if you are going to be on your knee scooter, like out and about, like I was Saturday, and like I was when I was cooking for Thanksgiving, make sure you try to put a pillow or something soft under there. Because after a while, I noticed that because I've used my scooter so much, I can see a knee print on that seat. I can see my knee print kind of embedded in there, which means it lets me know that I'm wearing down that one spot. So I try to rotate my knee in the way I place it, but you have to be as careful as you possibly can because you do not want to, you know, slide your knee back too far trying to avoid that spot and then you end up falling. There are brakes up there on the handlebars, which are great. I love the brakes. I love the fact how I can go outside because going down my, my, my walkway, um, there are little, whatever, little leaves and, and acorns or whatever that stuff is that falls out of the trees. I do feel confident when I'm going out, I always have one hand on the brake just in case if I need to just stop um, quickly, I can stop. I don't ever just go out, you know, without any assistance um, or any security knowing that I can't stop myself, okay? So keep that in mind. But also that pillow, a knee pillow, I did read a review about that and I see exactly which I knew what to expect, y'all. So I'm not saying that I didn't know what to expect. I just wanted to see what... Because everybody's body is different. You know, I may weigh a certain amount of pounds and they may have been bigger or smaller than me. You know, you just never know. But there is a lot of wear and tear on this one joint. So that's the reason why I try to make, you know, I find myself doing too much and trying to act like I'm still with it. But sometimes I'm not. I have to be careful with my knee. So that's another thing you guys need to keep in mind. Be very careful with your knee scooter. Um... I mean, certain things will make you fall if, depending on what's in your area, in your neighborhood when you're rolling out. I wouldn't advise anybody to just walk, I mean, roll outside um, for long periods of time. Like going around my neighborhood, I wouldn't dare do that on the knee scooter because I just don't trust it. I don't trust that, you know, it's only four little wheels and um, they're very slick. Luckily, I have carpet in my house, so I don't have to worry about being thrown down. But if I didn't have any carpet, I think I, think I would have fallen a whole lot more or had a lot more near misses than what I've had so I am lucky that I do have carpet in my house for that purpose um 
like I said, I do use the crutches upstairs. And um, the only thing that I do is just try to, um, there's nothing that you can really do to take away the pain of the soreness. Um, just, you know, try to put towels or, there are some things on Amazon. I didn't even invest in those, y'all. I didn't invest in those because I felt like I was going to be alternating between the crutches and the knee scooter. So I just wanted to do either or. But um, I, there are times when I'm moving around too much when I'm up in my room. I notice that my arms get really, really sore. And I forget, like, what did I do? And then I notice, like, okay, I start remembering. Yeah, you were doing this much. You would, you know, because even standing up, brushing your teeth, I sit on my counter. There, There's enough room up there for me to just sit down. I just put my back to the um, sink and mirror, and I just sit there and just kind of relax. Sometimes I prop my leg up on my, my leg with the cast on it on the toilet and um you know kind of brace myself with my left leg and just just you know you become to be with this i know it's saying it crazy but you become very very creative okay you will be so creative like with me i got this thing y'all when i get up out of my bed this is me i like to make my bed up i like my bed to be made up because this is what was instilled in me growing up so there's no excuse for me having this cast on my leg. It's like, no, I still have to make my bed up. I never thought I'd be able to make my bed up so good crawling while I'm still in the bed. I mean, you, you got to see it to believe it. But you learn to be creative, y'all. And when one sense, I this ain't even a sense, but when one limb or when you can't use something, a certain part of your body that, that you're used to, you start to be creative. You start to be very creative. And you learn how to get around it. So... Yeah, I think those are my tips. Um, if I would say pain, try to wean yourself off of the pain medication um, whenever you, as soon as you can, because not sure what anybody else has been prescribed, but I mentioned before I was prescribed some um, Percocets and they were pretty strong. And I just, after like the second week, well, really, it was the first full week after my surgery. I felt like, you know what, maybe a week and a half, I, I, could, I feel like I could just tolerate it up until a certain amount of time. And I just kind of was afraid that I just, you know, something would go bad. And that's, I don't want to end up making my brain think that I need the medicine and I don't just to take it because it's a habit or a fear. Because in the beginning, right after I had my surgery, I found myself doing that. I did not want to feel pain because I had a nerve block. When the nerve, when that feeling started to come back, I didn't want to feel anything. They scared me so bad, like, no, you know, because they wanted to keep me overnight. My surgeon, my um, surgeon did not want me to go home that same day. He didn't want me to be outpatient because he said, when your leg wakes up, you're going to want something. You're really going to need to be here. And so I was like, no, I want to go home. And we worked it out. And... Um, I ended up going home, but that was the fear, y'all, that was embedded in my head. They were like, you don't want that. When that leg wakes up at 2 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, when you think you're sleeping and it wakes you up, you don't want to feel that. And I didn't. So that's why I was, I think I was overdoing it in the beginning. So I just will give y'all that advice. Don't have a fear of, um, of the pain to the extreme that I did to where you just feel like you just overdoing it. Because that's what I was doing, overdoing it with those, um with those pills so um another thing that i wanted to mention before i go is oh god it was on my brain i thought about it earlier when i was at work because again these are things that you don't know until you need to know and that's what i've been doing now me i'm still experiencing a lot of um a lot of swelling and it's only when I put my foot down, like when I'm working, I have to have my leg up on something. So I've been taking this right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's called Blood Flow Care. I got these from Amazon, and they're made by Her Herba Me. And it says premium formula, blood circulation and vein support. It says supports leg health, supports cardiovascular health, supports blood vessel health. And I was thinking that, I'm the type of person that I love to give blood. I used to always donate blood, but my veins are very tiny and it's always hard and my heart stick. So I feel like if, I don't know, if something's going on with the circulation, 
and that's keeping me maybe I it's normal for me to still be swollen but I'm gonna find out when I go back to my doctor because I just want to be over with the swelling but I cannot at this point still put my foot down and rest it without my toes feeling like they're about to explode so that's just me my experience um so I would say if you guys are experiencing that I don't I haven't talked to my doctor yet so I don't know if it's normal or abnormal but I do know that it is uncomfortable now I do have feel like a pinched nerve pain all the time in my back and it's probably because I have to spend most of my time with my leg up to where it, it's just like maybe I'm just tearing all these discs up in my back I don't know what the feeling is but there's always a dull annoying pain in my back no matter what so you just learn to get used to it and you deal with it because it's not really a part of life it's it, I mean I feel like truly once my leg and once I'm able to just sit down and go back to normal then those things wouldn't even be bothering me but this is things that I just am mentioning now just in case somebody needs to know it okay so I hopped on and I didn't mean to talk so long y'all know I'm long-winded y'all know I started a whole new conversation after another conversation and then be thinking of something else to talk about that's just what I do but I wanted to give these tips to you all and let you know that hey your girl is still here she fighting to the end she pushing and yeah you know this too shall pass so if anybody if you're new on this journey to having you know ankle injury broken bone or anything where you're having to be down and, and numb weight bearing I'm especially talking to you remember the beginning is very hard you know when you get to the middle yeah it's going to be kind of hard but I think the closer you get to the end of this little tunnel that you got to go through it starts to get a lot sweeter so just be just look forward to that you know that's what I've been doing envisioning myself not even in, in this phase anymore it's like yeah I can't walk but guess what I will be walking again and I'm already envisioning myself walking I'm already seeing myself doing the things that I used to do and you know I'm already back on my routine in my head so that's what I that's what I've been doing getting myself there to stay motivated because again when your normal way of life has been taken from you for this long span, you know, this long period of time, it does get you discouraged. Because, again, I'm over a month in this. You know, my injury was, what, October the 16th, and here we are, um, you know, the end of November and about to be in, in December. So, you remember, if I got through it, you guys can get through it. I'm not... God didn't make me just, he don't have a respectable person that he would just exempt from um, being able to get through certain things. We're all tough. We're tougher than we know. And um, you just have to keep pushing and stay positive. No matter what, stay positive because this too shall pass. All right? All right. So to my subscribers, thank you guys so much for subscribing to my channel. If you are new, I want to say thank you and want to, I want to welcome you personally to Pamela Yvette's channel where I run my mouth. I have chronicles. I just start talking. Y'all gonna y'all see that already. If you, you've been watching my videos, you know me. But I feel in the end I want to uplift and encourage and motivate somebody. That's all I want. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. I will still be uploading videos and getting the content out there and keep you guys on this journey with me because this is helping me so much to get outside of my head too, y'all. Okay? So Again, thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys on the next video. All right. Talk to you later, guys. Bye-bye.